Yes, good afternoon. Let's get started. Once your friends join, a couple of more minutes, we're getting started. Okay. Just ask your friends to join. Okay, there's no point waiting, and I believe that you guys are only going to be interested for this. So, 92 people have joined. I don't know how many people are going to be really interested. Is uh, we expected 170, we are having only 90 turn now. So, that's a problem now. Regularly, there are going to be only 90 people who are going to participate. Please. There's no, no point in doing this, right? You should be understanding you guys are messed up in one particular uh, section. The people are not actually really bothered about what it is. Fine. Yeah. Who more is interested? Let's get started. Okay, let's not waste any time. And uh, just talk to your friends if they're interested. Let them come, but you don't have to push anyone. Okay. So let's start working.
there is a couple of videos you asked me for i've not uploaded it yet because i've not got the uh, material the video on the it's not there okay probably today i can upload it okay please don't no worry there are a couple of people who asked me this question so today evening i'll put those videos okay you guys can watch them. the super interest compound interest type and the profit and loss uh, video that the problems that we did that will get it today okay today night and with you okay and also the uh, evening this video sorry this video and morning video i'll put it for us okay tonight got it Okay, let's get started. Okay, today we're going to see problems which are into AMCAT, and we have predominantly of MCQ and MCQ type questions. There are a lot of questions on this type, so we're going to solve that. Okay, okay, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Yes, yes. Okay. So look at the first question. The reciprocal of MCQ and MCQ of two numbers are one and twelve, and one of three one two. One of the numbers is twenty-four. Find the other number. Okay, the reciprocal of MCQ and MCQ of two numbers are one on one and one on two. One of the numbers is 24, the other number is. See, before we go on to these kind of problems, something that I really wish to tell you guys is, just listen up. Uh, see, uh, so let's take it for example. Okay, let's take for example, uh, we have a number. For example, we have a number called uh, 20. Okay, 20. There's a number called 20. There's a number called 30. Okay. So what is 20 into 30? We know it's 600. Correct? 600. We all know this. What is the HCF for 20 and 30? What's the HCF for 10 and 20 and 30? What is the HCF? HCF for 20 and 30? HCF, HCF, HCF. I'm asking for the HCF. 10. Okay. HCF is 10. So what is the LCF? LCM is nothing but 2 into 3, so 0 extra. So what is 60? So when I multiply 10 into 60, what do I get? 600. Hope you're able to understand. So when I multiply a couple of numbers, I get 600. When I multiply the HCF and LCM of those numbers, I get 600. Which we want. When I multiply the HCF and LCM, that will be equal to the product of the two numbers. Correct? So which means when I multiply the HCF and LCM of a couple of numbers, the product of the numbers also gives you the same. Correct? So if that is the case, HCF and LCM of the two numbers are given as one, the reciprocal of them is 1 by 12 and 1 by 3, 1, 2, which means HCF should be 12 and LCM should be 3, 1, 2. Got it. So if one of the numbers is 24, one of the numbers is 24. So what do you mean? 12 and 3, 1, 2 should be 24 into that sum number, correct? Because we know HCF and LCM when we multiply, we get, 20, uh, we get the product of two numbers. When one of the numbers is 24, the other number is 1. All that we have is 1. 156. So as for this is 156. Clear? Got it? Is this clear? Yes. Let's get on to the next question. Understood? Yes. So next question. Product of two numbers is 9152. What is the is 8? Then the Find the LCM. Product of two numbers is 9152. If the HCF is 8, what is the other number? What is the other number? We're not sure. So, how do we find it? Yeah, exactly. So, our answer is double one double. Clear? Yes. Good job, Prakash, and uh, the roll numbers, person who more it is. It's kindly contribute, that will be helpful for us. Okay. You guys, answering is also very important. Okay, 9152. 9152 divided by 8. Yeah, 1144. Good job. Next question. The answer is HCF of two numbers is 2970 and 30, respectively. Prime factors are the product of the two numbers. Prime factors for the product of the two numbers is the question. Okay. 
which of the answer is I've given an indicator with the head itself. So it is this one. The reason is because 78 can be written as what? 13 into 6. And we have 13. 13 is nothing but 13 into 1. So can I write this as 13 into 13? So 13 square. 6 can be written as 2 into 3. All right. So answer is 13 into 13 into 2. Here. Next question. The LCM of two numbers is 234 and 13. So the smallest factor of the product of the two numbers is smallest factor of the product of the two numbers will be what? 234 into 13. What will be the smallest factor here? Obviously, this is the even number. So even number now, the smallest factor should be what? What should be the smallest factor? Exactly. So the answer is so this simple is what you get. Correct. Good job. Now you can answer something. So the answer is two. This is how simple you get questions, okay? Next question. Product of two numbers is 5502. Okay. Product of two numbers is 5502. The LCM is 552. Then the right shape is. Product of two numbers is 5502. And the LCM is 552. And the right shape is. I'm not sure. Correct. Nine. Approximately nine, correct? So they've done a mistake here, I believe. It should be five five zero eight minimum. No, I'm sorry. Wait, five fifty two into nine. Five five zero eight minimum. No, it's approximately nine point something is what you get, correct? So answer is maybe this part of the question is wrong. Now online up with the kind this part of the question is wrong. Maybe this value should be different, okay? So, anyways, for this value, approximately we could take it as nine. Okay? Our answer to this is nine. But this part of the question is wrong because 5502 is not divisible by any of these numbers. Correct? So this may be a mistake. Okay. So these were all taken from direct old questions. So maybe wrong at times, whatever they're giving. Okay. Next question. Let's say two numbers is 11 and the real sum is 693. One of the numbers is 11. Give me the answer. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, her answer is. So you can very easily say it. Okay. Or else, see this, HF of two numbers is 11, the other one is 693. So, understandable, here is 77 into something, is what you'll have to get. Something which you can very easily say out of this is, see, one multiply by solna, I'll already see this, this is a sum itself. 15 plus 3 is 18, 18 gives you 9. So, this is to any number. This is what you any number will be divisible by 9. It will be any 9. So, if it's any with 9, na, divisible by 9, the summation of the number is 9. Similarly, in the other 77 into some value. So, this is not divisible by 9. So, our answer should be 9. Na. Answer should be either this one or this one or this one also. So, then we'll have to do something else also. 11 is divisible by a number of paths. That all happens. Okay. I think uh, digital sum can be done. The thing is, like, otherwise, a simpler process only just multiplication. So, next question. LCM of two prime numbers A and B is 667. And the value for 7B minus 5A is? The value for 7B minus 5A is the question. Okay. So, LCM of two prime numbers A and B is 667. Then the value 667. The value of 7B minus 5A is. Okay, 7B minus 5A is. Okay. So if I were in your place, the first clue that I have, I have nothing here because these are my options which you say I'm So the first indicator that I have is it's ending with seven. 
So if it is ending with 7 and they have called it prime numbers, so your combination should be 1 and 7. It should end with 1 and 7. Right? The number should be ending with 1 and 7. 1 and 7. Yeah. So the two numbers, the two prime numbers should be 1 and 7 only, ending with 1 and 7. So probably because it is in 667, 667 and then I'm just looking at a wild guess. 667 should be 25 square is 625. Correct. So 25 square is 625 and then I'm just looking at this could be somewhere between 20s and 30s. 20s and 30s are the chances. So this is my guess. Between 20s and 30s or 30s are good or later. If, if I put anything like 13, 11, so first half on this, 11 into 30, some number, 33, 33, 35, 31 and 4, that is still 341. So first 1 to 20, I don't think there's a possibility for us to get this. So 11, 17, what are the numbers that we have there? Only 7, only Murira numbers, what are the numbers that we have? So our numbers should be what? 11, 17, 21, 27 prime number. So this is not a possibility. Okay. So 27 is not a prime number. So the next number is what? 31, 37. Or 21 is also not a prime number. So that's not a possibility. Next one is what? 41, 47. Yes. Could be any of this. Or probably, is there any other option? We get 9, 3. Yeah, 29, 3. So 9, it can be 1, 7 or it can be 9, 3. It can also be the other chance. So it can be 19. 13 or 29, 23, yes, 29, 23, or as 33, 39, randomly divisible. So it's not So any of these numbers should be possible for 667. 667. So what do I do? 31 into 37. 31 into 37, first guess. So I'm just trying to do 31 into 37. We know because both are 30 is plus, answer should be more than 900. So it's a career. 29, 23. 29 into 23. So 29 into 23 is 26 square, which is 676 minus 3 square. 3 square is 9. So answer is 667. So what is your answer? 29 comma 23. Okay. So they're asking you for 7B. 7 into 23 minus 5 into 29, which is 145. 145 with 140, 140, 140, 7 into 3 is 160. So the answer is 161 minus 145, which is 3. The answer is 60. Am I clear? Just telling you the methodology to get this question right. Okay, just the methodology to get this question right. So I'm taking this rough calculation because I'm also out of nowhere. I seriously, I'll tell you something where I really did not solve this question before. Okay, I came to this class. So what I understand here is 667, how do I get to an approximation? Just by doing this kind of understanding. In a prime numbers in Sultan Nala, the prime number should be what? Now we had already sold here. Three other prime numbers will always have this order, which means it will be 6 minus 1 or 6 plus 1 order. Leather. 6 minus 1 or 6 plus 1 order. Leather. So 6 minus 1, 6 plus 1 order. Leather. Guys, you are able to understand it. So 6 minus 1 or 6 plus 1 is the order. Okay, 6n minus 1 or 6n plus 2. So which means it should be 5 or 6, 5 or 7 or uh, 13, 11, then we get 19. 25 will be the one prime numbers, but 25 is not a prime number. So obviously, the number like 29, the 31, then we have 37, the 36, 36 is not a prime number, so it's also wrong. Sorry, 37, 37 is correct. Got it. So it should be minus 1, 6n minus 1 or 6n plus 1. It doesn't mean that all 6n minus 1 and 6n plus 1 will be divisible by, will be a prime number. So yeah. So I've just done this approximation. I've got this. See, nine up another. Six sixty-seven is the number. Right? To be one and seven, the answer will be six sixty-seven. Seven number you. Or else it should be nine and three. Okay. So when I take the prime numbers, eleven, nineteen, both are prime. The next number we have is twenty-one. It's not possible. Eleven, nineteen is possible. Then we also have seventeen. We also have thirteen. Okay. Seventeen, thirteen. So here twenty is the Twenty-one is not possible. So then we have 23, 25 could have 27 is a positive, no, it's not possible, 29, 23, 29. Then what we have, 31, then we have 30, 31, we have 30s, prime number should be what, 37, goes on like this. So our very obvious answer is what, 23 and 29. 
Correct. I just solved it for you. The answer is 23 and 29. And what we got it as the value 7 into 23 minus 5 into 29. So our answer is 16. Clear? Am I clear? Please. Am I clear with this question? Yes. Yes, sir. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Good job, good job. Next question. No, sir. No, sir. You want me to do it again? Uh, Someone wants me to do it again. Yes, yeah, please. Sir, the question says A must be greater than B, sir. A must be greater than B. Yeah, A is greater than B. Uh, 29 is A and 23 is B. Okay, sir, but... Uh, they have told 7B minus okay, sir, okay, sir. So 7 into 25. No problem, no problem. Thank Good you. Good you asked me this. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Swati, sir. Swati, okay. Good job, Swati. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Please stay. So you're able to understand, right? So your answer is 29, come out 23. Okay, you want to do it once again? So if you're solo or see this. There is a prime number. Guys, if you want to mute yourself once and you want to talk, means you can just tell me that. Okay. Not everyone at the same time, but if you guys have doubts, you can always tell me that. So 667, okay. 667 is an indicator. They have told these two are prime numbers. Prime numbers in solo mode. We have the numbers as 1, comma 7. Okay. 1 comma 7 the one no because it should be ending with 7. So 1 into 7 only will end with 7. Or else it can be 9 into 3. Can end with 7. So 27 to move 7. So your answer should be ending with the last digit should be 1 or 3 or 9 or 7. It is correct. So if that is the case, what I'm trying to tell you is the values can be 2 digit numbers in number theory. So when I take 2 digit numbers in 11. 17, 11, 17 is a chance. The other chance is what we have. 13, 19. That can also be a chance. The other one is going to be what? 21, 21 is not a prime number. 27 is also not a prime number. So the next one is 23, 29. These two can be a chance. Okay. Next one, what we have? 20, uh, 33, 30, 33 is not a chance. So 31, 37. That's a chance. 31, 37. 33, we have 39. No, I don't think so. 33, 39. Next one, we have 41. Then we have 47. 41, 47. Yes. Scan also 43, 49. Are added. So this is not a possibility. So either pull the answer to group because anything beyond this is not going to give you 667. Less than this also. Either pull here, it will not give you 41 to 47 except it will give you 1600 plus. So it's not working out this way. But 47 into this of 11, maybe this gives you this value in path. That's also not getting close. So, random report is there. Then I'm coming back to each values. So, am I easily making assumption this 11 into 17 is not possible? So, this is not working. So, in the 11, if I multiply any of these numbers, that is getting with 7 and the numbers for part. One now, will I get values? But 11 into 37 is closer to 7, not possible. 11 into 47 is 517. So 11 is not at all into the picture. Take it away. Take it away. Correct. Right? So then what we have? 17. 17 could if I multiply 13, it is not getting that. That value. 17 into 23. 17 into 23 is also 391. So not what? 17 into 31. 17 into 31 also. 67. 67. taking one. So, which means 667 it should be around that 25. So, I have this as an option, which is 23 and 29. So, 23, 29, when I try and multiply, what do I get here is 23 into 29 is giving you 667. Both the numbers. So, what I take you is A is going to be 29 and B is equal to 23. 23. So, the question is 7 into 23 minus 5 into 29. What is the answer? So, the answer is going to be what? Clear? Clear now? Next question. The product two numbers is 22806. The LCM is 522, then they have HFS. Give me the answer. LCM is 522. What's the LCM? What's the HF? Oh, 
okay here point value is it what is see neenga yaravadu dub adikiradha paathana illa trivial irukku because most of you are like giving me the answer but problem is you guys have the pdf it doesn't mean that you'll have to mug it up okay please do not do that stuff because you will not get those questions maybe if you're lucky one or two questions not everything okay so which means you'll have to go through that because you'll get same kind of questions adukaga dhaan ungalku share panirken doesn't mean that you know the answers completely it doesn't work out that way okay dai you think dabadi kare okay please make sure you guys are you're not mugging it up okay please make sure you guys are listening to the lecture and getting yourself updated okay clear yes good job 41.315 so find the least number which is divisible by 5713 please write the three in each case find the least number which is divisible by 5713 please write the three in each case there's a couple of methods of solving this i'll give you the first method then i'll give you the three shortcut okay least number which when divided by 5713 leaves the same remainder three in each case only la 5713 le divisible aana number least number but when i add three to it i mean 5713 but when i uh, 5713 le divisible aagana the number and leaves divisible aagama sorry the least number which when divided by 5713 le divide padumbodhu it gives you the remainder of the your number get it so what should i do i should find the answer for these numbers 5 Seven and thirteen, so I get ninety-one into five. Ninety-one into five is nothing but four fifty-five. So I get four fifty-five. Okay, so I have to give you a remainder of three now. Plus three are four. So that I am going to get four fifty-five plus three are the four fifty-eight. Four fifty-eight divided by five is three. Four fifty-eight divided by seven gives you what? Again, four fifty-eight divided by seven gives you thirty-eight. It gives you three. Four fifty-eight divided by thirteen gives you what? 458 uh, divided by 13. 458 divided by 13. That also gives you 3 as the remainder. So yeah, either or option. Okay. This is how you do it. Just take LCM and check if this number is giving you this option. So the answer is 458. For the best way of solving this is, I would say, for most of the questions like this, two options. Okay, two options. Eliminating options. Five and replace. What I do is, the number should give five. It should be divisible divided by five. The remainder should be three in each case. So let's count. Three in each case. I do. So now, and the number minus three porta. It should be divisible by five. Correct. That as any of the answers minus three porta. It should be divisible by five. Correct. So which means divisible by five. Now the last digit should be zero or five. And the number minus three porta. The last digit should be zero or five. So I'm here now. Four three ninety eight minus three gives you three ninety five. Possible. 453 minus 3 is 450. Possible. All four are giving you that option. Then all of them are all of them. Next is what? Divisible by seven. Seven is going to be there. Seven is divisible. I'm being told. Seven is divisible. I'm told. This this one. 395 should be divisible by seven. Is it divisible by seven? No, it's not. 453 should be divisible. 450 should be divisible by seven. Is it divisible? No, it's not. Then 455. Then you'll have 460. Correct. Minus three. Minus three. Minus three. So I don't think 450 is divisible by seven. No, it's not. 460 is divisible by seven. It is also not. So the only option which is divisible by seven is 455. So answer is 458 because 455 plus three, which is 458. After that, three remainder three. Is that clear? Two options. Now then I am not sure. Now the final least number which is divided by 5713 leaves the same remainder in each case. Three in each case is there. Over case, we three in the remainder group. ஒரு 450 divided by 7 போட்டா 6 times 42 30 is not possible 455 6 times 42 35 is 460 6 times 42 40 40 is not divisible by 7 so your answer is 458 and i do put a plus okay your answer is 458 clear that's all sir okay next question two options you can eliminate in the question ki easy answer but not every question will be easy answer That's why I'm eliminating options. Okay, so that will be the quickest method of finding the answer. 
question shall i go on to the next question yes sir thank you what is the difference between sorry okay. ah gives you see this question so this is the question okay this one find the least number which when divided by 5 8 9 10 leaves the remainder as 2 5 and 6 leaves the remainder as 2 5 and 6 leaves the remainder as 2 5 and 6 okay when i divide the number by 5 it should give you the remainder as 2 5 and 6 gives you the remainder as 2 5 and 6 okay again i'll tell you one at a time option which is here there is not you want Do it with options, or you do one with some other method. Method is again very easy to do. But anyways, all that you have to do is method. Now just have to take LCM and try to do this. Okay. Very masters, but okay. Anyways, method first. Now, since that, all I have to do is you will have to try to find the LCM for this. Okay. Nineteen into eight. Nineteen into eight is one seventy two. One seventy two. Uh, into by one seventy two into five is what one seventy two one seventy two nineteen into eight. Uh, good, good, good job. Vishnu has given me some answer. So forty forty into seventy three. Okay, seventy three answer. Okay, seventy three. Now what happens is, so five minus two put it back. Okay, if five is okay, that is two minus two. Five minus two is three. That is my four eight. Eight minus two five is nothing but eight minus five is nothing but three. And remember, nineteen is there. Nineteen minus three is also three. So all of this should give you three 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 as a value. That is the number of the in the number minus three seven sixty minus three. So seven fifty seven fifty five 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 gives you the remainder as two. Okay, seven fifty seven divided by eight. Seven fifty seven divided by eight gives you nine times seventy two fifty seven fifty seven gives you eight uh, layer uh, report on a I'll get seven fifty seven fifty seven six thirty seven thirty seven gives you five as the remainder divided by nineteen report on a your answer will be fifty seven you get seventy eighty one eighty seven one eighty seven still gives the remainder as So the answer is seven fifty seven. If you only subtract from it, you'll get the same remainder. That is minus three minus. Total is just minus three fourteen. Then you'll get the answer seven fifty seven. This is the method. Okay, well. But yeah, option which will be answer fast. I can only ask this. Two is the remainder when I divide it by five. Okay, it should give you two as the remainder when I divide by five. Okay. So what you understand is. Minus two when I divide by five, which means in the number minus two. In the number minus two, quota it should be divisible by what? What five? The option minus two quota, my answer should be seven forty-five. This will be seven fifty-five. This will be seven fifty-eight. This will be seven sixty-five, and this will be seven sixty-one. So minus two quota, it should be divisible by five. So I'll be solve them both. This option and this option is gone. So which means we have three options: seven forty-five. Seven fifty-five and seven sixty-five, correct? Right? Which is in the end option seven forty-seven, five fifty-seven, and seven sixty-seven. The next, next thing what we will have to do is what? Eight divided by one. Eight divided by one. Another nineteen divided by one. Eight 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 So it means seven forty seven minus uh, five, which is seven forty two. The other one is seven fifty uh, seven minus eight is uh, minus five, seven fifty two. And then we have seven uh, minus five, which is seven. These are only eight letters visible. So what are the other letters? We will have to find which word number. So I don't think this is possible. This is also not possible. So the answer is seven fifty two. This is only divisible by eight. This is only divisible by eight. Yes, I think we are in the same area. Because we have two different options, two different remainder uh, of the card. So since they told three different, sir, you know, this is minus two point one seven. So you know, just because of five. 
finally divisible aagumbod two remainder over which means 747 757 Uh, 750, 745, 755, 758, 765, and 761 are there. So five la, either end out pani do. So if you eight le divisible la, our number of problem eight le divisibility one da. We have three options: 747, 757, and 767. The third one is the one. Eight le divide pani do, but five in the remainder one, which means minus five, minus five, minus five one da. It should be divisible by eight, which is 742. 752 and 762. The only the eight letters for the charge in 752 is divisible by eight. So you have the answer. 757. Okay, that's your answer. Okay, clear. So next question. What is the next question? What is the difference between LCM and HCF of numbers 20, 30, and 40? What is the LCM and HCF difference for numbers 20, 30, and 40? 20, 30, and 40. What is the difference? So LCM is nothing but what? 20, 30, 40. We know two, three, four. Two, three, four. What was your LCM? It is nothing but 120. And HCF is going to be what for this? HCF is nothing but what? 20, 30, 40. And LCM is 120. HCF is nothing but what? 10. So when you subtract both of it, you get what? Yes. Next question. The square of one number is 25. If the HCF and LCM of the two numbers are 5 and 35 respectively, find the other number. Okay. See, square of one number is 25. If the LCM and HCF of two numbers is 5 and 35, what is the other one? It's obvious, right? If a square of one number is 25, now the number is 5. If the HCF is 5, it is not. LCM should be one. LCM is 35. Now, one of the number is 5. Okay, the other number is what? That is given already here. So it is 35. Here, the answer is 35. Here. Next question. The smallest number, which is divisible by seven, eighteen, fifty-six, and thirty-six, leaves a remainder zero. Listen, listen, listen. In the Mari question, I would say you are wasting time taking LCM and you go with the method for this. You have to take LCM. That's it. Okay, LCM is the answer correct. But LCM is correct. You have to add something. That's where the question is. If I were to replace, what I do is. Smallest number which is divisible by which one divided by seven, eighteen, fifty-six, and thirty-six leaves the remainder zero. I mean, so we can. If I were to replace, I'll go with the options. Tell you how. See, I have two numbers, eighteen and thirty-six here. Eighteen and thirty-six here. Both these numbers are divisible by nine. So our answer should also be divisible by nine. So which are the numbers which are divisible by nine? Check for you. What are those numbers which are divisible by nine? One plus two, two plus two, four. Not option possible. Three plus nine, twelve. Twelve is nothing but three. Not possible. Three plus two is five. Five plus four, nine is fourteen. Fourteen is nothing but five, which is not possible. Five plus four is nine. So our answer is five zero four. So simple. Option A. Yeah, good job, good job, good job, people. That three done is very good. So your answer is option A. Just take that value. Multiply it up, and that's all. See how fast you got the answer. Rashami, all of you are good job. Babe. Five zero four. Yeah. Next question. Everyone understood. Everyone understood, right? Yes. The last question is: Will the tax capacity ninety eight, one eighty two, and two sixty six liters? Each is of the capacity. I think it's the largest measuring cylinder that can accurately fill three tanks of capacity of 98, 182, and 166, which is nothing but HCF. You know, four cylinder project, four cylinder fill for me. Okay, so the largest measuring cylinder which capacity, and the cylinder which will have to fill this capacity of 98 to 182 and 266. Okay, so if I were in your place, how do I solve this question? Is so you can either find the common traditional method of finding HCF here. So what you guys do? 98 probably people do this. 
186, either you do this, I'll tell you how, what all you do, that is 14 is nothing but 14 into 7 is this, so it's use 2 into 7 square, this is the roots of this, so for this one what you do is 13 into 7 into 2, so that is for this, and for this one what you do is, uh, what you do, 2 into 33, well, 33 gives you, 31, 33 gives you, what is the value for 33 is 7. Okay. 7, uh, then 19. 2 into 7 into 19. So what do you do? 9 into 7 is, so not 19, I'm sorry, not 33 is the 19. 9 into 7 is nothing but 33, 266. This is how you do. So now what do you do? Which is the common value? You take 7 and you have 10. 2 in the degree, either you do the degree, either you do the degree. So your value is 2. In the 7 square repeat, 7 repeat is 7 repeat. So all three have common values is 7. So the answer is 7 into 2, 14. That's it in Korea. Correct? So instead, I will also teach you another method. See if this is also useful. Okay. So the other method that I do is whenever I get this kind of question, for a smaller question, you can do this. For a bigger question, what I'll do is see, I'll just take to try to take the difference between the numbers. So numbers, first and second difference is 84. Correct? Second and third, the difference is going to be. Again, it's going to be what 66, 84 only. First and the third, if I try to find the difference, it's going to be 168, 168. 84, 84, 168. Okay, I'll check this. So 84, 84, 168. In the moving divisible line number, two options I'll eliminate. Two options I'll eliminate. So biggest number in the sample. 98 is not possible because it is not divisible by either of them. Finding the difference and finding the option. 14. 14 is it divisible? 84 is divisible by 14? Yes. 84 is divisible by 14? Yes. 168 is divisible by 14? Yes. So your answer is 15. Okay, I'll find the difference between the numbers given and see with the options. Okay. Option method, I'm just trying to find the difference between the numbers. That is 182 minus 98. Yeah. So I'll get what? 84. Then what I do is 266 minus 182. Again, this gives you what? 84. Then what do I do? 266 by 8. Then what do I get is 168. Okay. So out of these three numbers, what I do is all the numbers I'm trying to take the uh what do you call it? The other uh the H4 all these numbers. Two options I take these numbers and finding two options. 98 is not possibly a very 14 or 7 or 2. So 14 is a possibility because why 14 84 are divisible, 84 are divisible, 168 are. 7 or 1 is 2 or 1 is 7, but these two are smaller numbers. So, HF is highest common factor. So, highest value is very important. So, the answer is 14. This is another method of work. Okay, clear? Expression. What is the least amount a person can have? So, that distributed into 16, 18, 20, or 25 is left with the least number which. 18, 20, 25, 16, so that again, again, I'll tell you this, again, I'm telling you this, just listen, listen carefully, listen carefully, the shortest method of doing this is not going through your options, I mean, not through, through your methodology, so options, I'll say this, 18, 25, okay. so we know we are going to get a number which is a multiplication of these, it will be a multiplication of these, when I have 25, it has to be 5 square, five square Five square and so lama. So, which is obvious here, if it is having five square in it, which is 25 in it, you will have two zeros in the end. Correct? Two zeros in the end. Because for five, five into two is ten. Five into four is twenty. So, or even number or five is ten, so you get a zero. Either way, 25 into four gives you what? 100. What is it? Either into two or into five. Right? So, lama gives you a number of zeros. Correct? So if that is the case, what is, what is the least amount that a person can have so that when he distributes it into groups of 16, 18, 20, or 25, he is left with 4. He is left with 4. Now, above, answer should be what? Answer minus 4 should be giving you that. Uh, it should be divisible. In the 25, layer, answer minus 4 will be divisible. Okay? Option minus 4 will be divisible. If you have 1792, 1800, then you will get 2592, then you will get 3600. And I said two zero should be there. Okay, this is not possible. The next thing is what? The number should be divisible by what? 18 it should also be divisible by what? 9. 
nine lay divisible and pata nine lay both are divisible. This as well as this is divisible. Okay. Sixteen lay divisible and pata sixteen this is not divisible. Sixteen lay is not divisible. So your answer is three sixteen. Do you mind this doing this method? Ning calculate pani solve pani getting the answer out of it takes how long will it take? Okay. Okay, what I'm telling you here is someone asked me to do it again. So just listen. Slow and study, I'm teaching you this. Okay. Then the, what is the least number that a person can have is that when when he distributes it into groups of 16, 18, 20, or 25, he's left with four. So 16, 18, 20, 25 are distributed from that. He still has four as reminder, which means that number is divisible by 16, 18, 20, 25. So yeah, he's always left with four. The option minus four quota, that number should be divisible by 16, 18, 20, and 25. Correct? Right? The number should be divisible by 16, 18, 20, and 25. If I get the option minus 18, 20, since we have 25 here, 25 has two fives in it, five into five. Or five to or even number say this, now you get a zero. That's obvious. Take any number, five into six, 30, or a zero. Okay? Uh, 125 into uh, 16, you take a thing, your answer would be three zeros in the So what do you get? 20, 125 into 2 is 5, 250, 250 into 2 is 500, 500 into 1000, 1000 into 2 is 2000. Your answer is 2000. Three zeros is because you have five threes here, three fives here, five cube into two power four. Move two could have said you'll get zero. In order to two and a circle, you know, to multiply our Okay, you get two parts equal under the loop, your answer would have been thousand. All of them, three zeros. Clear number of twos or number of even numbers and number of fives matters because that will decide the number of even numbers. Basically, even number number of zeros, number of zeros decide them. Basically, it is understandable number of twos are going to be more than number of fives. Obvious. So, with that pattern, what we look at here is we have 25 years, so your last two digits should be divisible by minus four quota, last two digits should be zero. So we put a 1792, then we'll have 1800, then we'll have 2592, then we'll have 3600. Got it? These two are not working because it's not getting with 00. zero. Yeah. So these two should be your answer. Either way, at the option, what we see is we have the number 18. 18 is 1 plus 8, which is 9, which means 18 is divisible by 9. So upon the total, the sum should also be divisible by 9. I see 1800 is also divisible by 9, 3600 is also divisible by 9. So other eliminate one would be added. So next value which I can eliminate with is 20. 20 is also both are divisible. 16. 16 in the path. 16 this is not divisible, but this only is divisible. So your answer is 3604. Clear now. Clear now. Without solving, you guys can eliminate with the option. Clear. Is that okay? Yes, 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 good job. Thank you. Next question. Find the smallest number which when divided by 357 leads each case and is divisible by 11. The smallest number which when divided by 357 leads divided by 2 in each case and it is divisible by 11. So it is divisible by 11, but when I divide it by 3, 5, and 7, it should give you the remainder as 2. Yeah, upon number should be first case and then the number should be divisible by 11. The number should be divisible by 11. Divisible by 11, Rikalia. This is not divisible by 11. This is not divisible by 11. Obvious. So then we have 737, 735. Just look at this. So this one, 66, you get uh, 777. So the option is what? 737. So your answer is 737. Good, good, good. Next question. If the sum of numbers is 555 and the NCF is 520, then the sum of the reciprocals of the numbers is equal to. Just listen. Think about this question. I want you guys to solve. Easy to work on this shit. I want you to solve this. And drink some water and get back, okay? Try being really absent.
Good job, good job. 11 by 120. That. And Babu. I'll check anyways, I'll check out. I'll like it, okay? But sum of two numbers is 55. The same of those numbers are 5 and 120 is what they do. So either if I were now to do is, I've already 120 clear and it's difficult. So what can I do here is, so which is nothing but 120, It's even else some of these in the sum of the sum of the numbers is 55 is what is given. Okay, but 55 is given, and it's if and some of those numbers is five and uh, uh, one by five and one by it's if and it's if. Okay. So what do I do here is five is common here, so five if I reduce it. And it is 24. So can I take it as 24 as? So this is six into four. So six into four. So six into four. Six into four means greater as I mean, X if is five, so 120 is 24 into 24 into 5, so 24 can be easy. Yeah, so it can be 8 into 3 or 64 or whatever. So 8 into 3 in Portola, what happens here is 8 into 3, na, 8 into 5 will be one of the numbers, 3 into 5 will be another number. Okay, so the answer would be 40, comma. 15. 40 comma 15 is nothing but what? 55. Right. So our numbers are going to be 40 comma 55. Clear. Hope you understood what I did here. We are having what I've done here is let's if an LCM of those numbers is 5 and 120 in And in the LCM 120 today we have the 5. 5 written. So on the 5 and I remove what do I get is 24. Which are ended number ratio I pay for 24. So this 24 can be written as 8, 3 and 4, but I see 8, 3 is a possibility because 8, 3 and 4, 8 into 5 is, this one gives you 40 here, and 3 into 5 is 15 here. So 40 plus 15 is 55, that's for question. Okay, 40 plus 15 is 55. So what they're asking is, find some of the reciprocals of the numbers is equal to, some of the reciprocals of the numbers is 1 40 plus 1 on 15, is giving you what, 1 on 50, 40 plus Plus one on fifteen gives you one. So the LCM of these two is giving you what? Six hundred gives you these two six hundred. So this gives you fifteen. See uh, six hundred. Yeah. So this gives you fifteen. Plus this gives you what? Forty. This gives you forty divided by six hundred. Yes. The sum of the reciprocals is going to be for a 55 by 600, which is nothing but 11 on 120. 11 on 120. So answer is 
Three different containers contain 493 liters, 403 liters, and 730 liters of mature milk and water, respectively. What is the biggest measure possible? Can measure all the different quantities. Okay, biggest measure, it says this is a HCF question. Right? HCF question. So, HCF question, all that I said you told you this already is just I'm trying to find the difference here because I am going to get Next is 713 minus 403, which is nothing but 310. Next, what do I do is 713 minus 496. So, 310 will not be divisible by 41. So, this is not possible. Second one is 31. 31 is divisible by 31. 31 is 310 is divisible. Yes. 93 is 91. 31 into 3 is 93. So, 217 lana 31 into 7 is 217. So your answer is 31. Because 7 and 1, we need not even check because this is sufficient. So your answer is 31 liters. Clear? So let's get on to the next question. Six bells come and stalling together at two minutes, two seconds, four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, ten seconds, five seconds, seconds respectively. In Thirty minutes. How many times will they talk together? Is your question okay? So six bells come and stalling together. So which means they stall at two seconds, four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, ten seconds, and twelve seconds. Okay, well. So before we do this, I really wish to tell you this. So for example, one of the two we are saying, na, we know it's two. One, two, three. Na, what's the answer? Two, two, three, six. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4. So what do we get? In the 4 cooler, we have 2. The 4 cooler, for example, 2 to 4 we have same in the we know 4. It is 4. Correct. The 4 is already 2 cooler. 2 is already 4 cooler. 2, 4, 8 in the bottom of what's the answer? 8. And get a 8 cooler, 4 work, 2 work. We put 16 here. 16 in the answer because all these numbers are inside 16. So when a greater number, which has the smaller number into it, the answer would be that number. Correct? Correct? So similarly, what we have is 7, 14, uh, 28 in number. The answer is going to be 28 because 7 and 14 are already present. 15, 20, 30, 20, 16. Now 15 and 20 are already inside 60. So the answer is 60. So in that, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2 is already present inside what? 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, LR3. So 2 need not be considered. 4. 4 is already inside 8 as well as in 12. 6. 6 is already inside 12. 8. 8 should be considered. 8 number 8. 10. Should also be considered. And 15. 12. The moon number is the same. Okay. These three numbers have something in common. 2 in common. So we have 4 into 5 into 6. Again, we have 4 and 5. 6 as 2 as common. So 2 into 2. Just 2 into 5 into 3. So your answer is going to be 30. 30 into 4 is 120. So your LCM is 130 is 120 seconds, which is 2 minutes. The answer is 2 minutes. So I'm afraid people are giving me 15 as the answer, but that is not the answer. Just to get it. So 2 minutes is your answer. So 2 minutes for time, Yella will be saying that. Yella will be saying that. So Yella will be saying that. 2 minutes out. So, 30 minutes every time out. 30 divided by 2, which you said as 15. 15 times. Okay, wow. Well, the problem here is if the question was 6 bells, record intervals of 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds, 8 seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, and 4 seconds. This term, if they are not given, your answer is 15. Your answer is 15. But now what they've given you is this term is given. This term, is, what does it say? The term is only there. This term is saying, come and stalling together. They come and stalling together. That term says, it is come and stalling together, which means what? Come and stalling together. Which means, 
commence doubling together na it, it starts by hitting together okay it hits it starts by hitting together okay so it's starting by hitting together na one bell zero second le aayiduchu plus with that we have 15 times of this together it's going to be 16 times okay zero second le okay madichirchu and we finish it so your answer is 16 times clear 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 now six bells coming starting together na the answer problem in the most of the video is coming to the work work this is the direction okay so what should we do again yes okay. so what see uh first one i have said here right 2 4 6 8 10 12 so but see the wrong sort okay so 2 4 vishnu everyone okay 2 4 6 8 10 well the first six bells coming stalling together which means r bells are same they are equal and they toll together which means they are all ringing together and they are starting so ring pani they start at zero second le the toll at the intervals of 2 seconds 4 seconds 6 seconds 8 seconds 10 seconds okay so when we are 2 second 4 second 6 second 8 second 10 second 15 second so in 30 minutes ke evlo time varum which means 30 minutes ku la ellame seidhu ethana time seidhu seidhu ani kekkara so we know 2 seconds for time 4 seconds for time 6 seconds for time 8 seconds for time 10 seconds for time 12 seconds for time kadikidu so appo 30 minutes la evlo time anikunda ellame ore nerathula kekkara minimum time nerathala 120 seconds 120 seconds is nothing but 2 minutes else adha kekkara nambikkara da what i'm saying is 2 4 6 8 வந்து ஏனா இந்த மூணு நம்பருக்குள்ள அந்த நம்பர்ஸ் எல்லாம் இருக்கு சோ ஐம் ட்ராப்பிங் இட் சோ 8 10 12 க்கு மட்டும் எல்சிஎம் எடுத்தா we take two outside i'll get common values to எடுத்தா 4 5 6 again we have a common value of 1 2 இருக்கு சோ 2 2 is 2 5 so 2 5 is 10 10 3 30 30 is 4 is 1 by 6 1 by 6 is 2 minutes சோ ரெண்டு நிமிஷத்துக்கு ஒரு டைம் அடிக்குது அப்ப 30 நிமிஷத்துல எவ்வளவு டைம் அடிக்கு Other time ago, other good and the first time comments starting together in solar power, 60 times. So, yes, clear. Hopefully, you didn't need answer so far. I'm not doing it. You are doing it. That's my best. That's my best. I can tell you what is happening right now.
So what the answers? 9 a.m., 6 a.m., 9. So what the answer is? The answer is 9 a.m. Okay, 9 a.m. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 105 minutes. So it's an hour of me, can we do all these things? We'll have to find out. Okay, this okay, what if they'll be together, be together? So your yeah, LCM is going to be. We'll have this. this. One two six hours. I think one two six hours. This is nothing but twenty one hours. See, basic tip for this kind of question is common. I have tip so long ago. If I were in your place, I have fast time because I have else in there. The thirty sixty ninety hours. So it's obvious thirty is present within sixty ninety all of them. Drop an error. Sixty and ninety. Sixty and ninety. Sixty ninety. Six and nine. Let us just learn another one. Eighty. So one eighty. So one eighty. Is it together? 180 is 105. We have 15 into 7. So 15 is already inside 180, obviously. So, so, 7 to 6. so 180 to 7. Your answer is 1 to 6 0 minutes, which is 21 hours. 60 minutes are putting in. Your answer is 21 hours. So, 21 hours says from uh, 12 noon to 12 noon plus 21 hours. Gives you 9 a.m. Clear? 9 a.m. Clear? Next question. See what I'm telling you here is 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and 105. Okay, that is what is given. So 30, 60, 90, 105. So we know 30 is already present in 60 and 90, so we can drop it. So 105 can be referenced 15 into 7. So the other number is 15 common, so we can drop that itself. 15 into 7 is the 15. So I'm not bothered about this 15, but I'm bothered only about this 7. Okay, the 7 is not Before that, 15 and 90 common are divisible by the number. That is 6 and 9 common are divided by the number is 18. So 180 into so the 15 is already present inside 180. So we do not bother about it because it already 15 to 180 can say the one. Into 7 put again. I will get it as 1 to 6 0 minutes. Always you can find the traditional LC method in Formula, but take time for LC. So 1 to 6 0 divided by 60 minutes. I mean put it will take how many hours? It takes 21 hours. So your answer is. Divide by 6 and put together, your answer is 21. So 21 hours is your answer. 2, 1, 0. People who have not answered, that's it. So it's 21 hours. Yeah, 21 hours. So 12 noon, then the 21 hours is nothing but plus 21 hours gives you. In the 12 noon, the 3 hours is the 3 hours. The 3 hours is the 3 hours. So with the next day 12 noon minus 3, which is 9 a. Clear? That's the answer to this question. Next question. Number of prime factors of 3 into 5 into 12 into 2 into 7 into 10 into 10 into 25 is. Yes. Number of prime factors.
Give me the answer to this. So we get different answers here. 47 are a more, 60 are a more, or none is an option. What job is? I don't get any of them. 16 into 5, 60. 5, 10, 15. So it takes a big number.
we may get 50 guys but we'll come back to this okay okay i'll solve this okay i'll remind me the to solve this one go to the next question so i'll waste time with this okay, next one what val least value must be assigned to star 60 so that i mean to star so that the number is divisible by 8 so the number is divisible by 8 so that we can solve the Seven for one Okay, we'll come back to this question, 216. This question, I'm not getting it correctly because I don't see the option here. Three power, I get three power two, okay, three power two, and five power four, then we get two power four, seven power one. That's so probably understood. Three into five, okay. Three into five into four into three, four into three into two into seven into five into two into five into two into five is four. So this gives you so we get three power two into. Five of five. five into this is nothing but two part two. Okay, two part two. Two part two. Three two part four. So two part five into seven part one. Just nothing but two. One part one. So we get. Two one six. Two one six. What Gayatri says is right. The answer should be two one six because see the length only one is hidden. Okay, one is hidden. Okay, that is also a factor. So the father will get three powers here, six power here, six here, and two here. So the answer will be two hundred sixteen, which is not in the option. The answer should be two hundred sixteen. But not in the option. So that's why I was keeping quiet. Okay, I was just holding on because I was just thinking what would be the answer because I don't get uh, the answer. Is what is 416 is not in the option. So your answer should be none of these. Because 216 is what you get because part two, part five, part five, part one. So means this is the So since one is also the what we do is two put over power, L put over power add for more. So three, six. Six and for this it will be two. So it gives you the two six six cubes value is two hundred and sixteen. So our answer is two hundred and sixteen. But which is not in the option. So anyways, I'll check and give, give you the answer. Okay. Next question. Find the least number that must be assigned. Yeah, correct. Two hundred and sixteen. Correct. So what value must be assigned to star so that it will be divisible by eight? So it should be divisible by 8 and the last three digits should be divisible by 8. So what will I put there to make it divisible by 8? So I don't think it's 1. I don't think it's 2 as well. I don't think it's 3. 3, three can be a possibility. So four is not possible. So the answer should be 4. I mean, answer should be four. 
fantastic, good job. It should be a straight Next question. Exactly the decision by 24. So our answer is divisible by 24 is what they've given. So which of the following numbers is divisible by 24? So 24 to both the number should be divisible by what? 8 and 3. So I'll have to divisible by 8 and 3. Now all I have to do is the number should be divisible by 8 and the last three digits we we'll have to check. Okay. So this is not possible because 8 is not divisible. Okay. So this is divisible and this also is not divisible by 8. This one, 732 is a possibility. 736 is a possibility. Yes, 736 is a possibility. 712, I think, is not. So, our answer is 312-5736. Option D. Option D is your answer. Okay. And summation of the number should be 3 when it comes to divisibility of 3. Okay. So, I don't think that's a possibility also. Okay. These numbers, the numbers are the following. Next question. Find the nearest... The number nearest to 15207, which is divisible by 467, is the number divisible by 467 nearest to 15207 is, is your question. Okay. So 467, 0 into 4 into 3 gives you. So 467 is what they've asked for. 4 0 4 9 into 10 times on the road. So another have done this. So it gives you 22. 14010. So they are asking you the nearest number which is near 15207. So I can add a couple of times, I will get 934. So I will get 4 here, 15 here, 4 here, 9 here, 14999. Again, if I add a 467 here, this is also a chance, but 467, if I add, I will get 11, 1. 11, 1, we get 14, 1, 1, 5, 4, 1, 1. So, 1, 5, 4, 1, 1 is actually how much more than that? 2, 0, 4. So, 2, 0, 4 is what it is more than that. 1, 9, 1, 4, 9, 4, 4 is going to be how much? It's much. The difference is going to be much higher. So, our answer should be 1, 5, 4, 1, 1. Okay, 1, 5, 4, 1. So yes, it could be a prime number, that's why. Right. Okay. 467 itself could be a prime number. Okay, that's right. So yeah, this one by one one one. Okay. Next question. The smallest number which is a perfect square and contains 47936 as a factor is the smallest number which is a perfect square and contains 7936 as a factor is request 7936. See these numbers which are ending with 64 and 16 are indicators. Okay, so the number should be either what number get in your solid box. See this, just listen a minute, listen for a minute. See, see, we know t squared is equal to 9. Similarly, 47 squared end with 
Just give me, give me, hold on with me. I'm just trying to get the shortest method which you can find the answer. Okay, five hundred square gives you three five double zero double zero. So this is near, okay, maybe this should be near 400 plus, 400 plus, so it can be, so which would be the smallest number is 231564, so maybe if we are looking at 492 square, 492 square, or else 492 square, or else we should think about 458 square, or else it should be about uh, uh, 492. 
or it should be 454 square or it should be 446 square or it should be 442 square. So we'll have to find it for the person. So I think uh, what we have 492 square 242064. 242064, do we have it? 242064 is 492 square is 242064. 0064. I don't think 492 square is into perspective at all. So I don't think this is a square number. So 2315. 2315, 496 square. That would be 496 square. 246016. Uh, 246, 246 square is 246016. Is it possible? 246016. So 231564. Got a chance. 296 is 496. 496 square. Okay. So is there any possible? For the, for the one, six, four. I should try for in the number illa dina. So your answer is this only. I'll try for two three one five six four. Two three one five six four it should be at any sixty four. So probably I'm trying at two four fifty eight square. So if I try at four fifty eight square, two four zero nine seven six four. So it's not the answer. So answer is two four six zero one six. Which is 496. Okay. I just forgot the shortcut, very fast shortcut to find this answer. I'll just teach you that. Okay. I'll teach you that in the evening. I just forgot it. For uh, smaller numbers, I remember, but bigger numbers, I totally forgot. In the evening, please remind me, I'll teach you that. Okay. Next question. So, the same question I'll teach you that. Okay. In the division register, the divisor is to be. 20 times the portion and 5 times the remainder. If the remainder is 16, the number 15. In a division problem, the divisor is 20 times the portion and 5 times the remainder. Okay, 20 times the divisor is 20 times the portion, 5 times the remainder. If the remainder is 15, the number will be. So remainder is 16. Okay, so 5 times the remainder gives you 80. Okay, divisor is 20 times the portion. So, and 20 times the quotient, the divisor is 20 times the quotient. Okay, and 5 times the remainder. So 5 times the remainder. So 5 times the remainder means it should be 80. So 20 times the quotient. So quotient is 20 times this. So it's 4 times your remainder is 60. So answer should be 336. So what is that given here is, see this. A divisor is 20 times the quotient, which means in the total number. This standard number should be 20 times the quotient, okay, for this number. And 5 times the remainder, 5 times the remainder, right? it should be 5 times the remainder. 80, is it? this number should be 5 times into 5 of this gives you the remainder. So if the remainder is 16, yeah, 16 into 5 gives you the divisor, which is 80, and this 80 is 20 times the quotient. So quotient is nothing but what? 20 into some number should give you the quotient. So 20 into some number should give you this. Okay. So this number is going to be a quotient, which is 4. You have 4. So 4 into 20 gives you 8. This is your answer. Okay. So now the question is, what is the number? So what is the number? This 4 into 8 is 320. 320 plus 60 is the remainder. So it's 336. So that's the end of the question. Okay, so the answer is 336. 336. Okay. So, Raina, so now Raina, and the question that what they told you here is the division of the divisor is 20 times the quotient. So, divisor is the division of the border value. Okay. And the quotient is 5 times the remainder. So, the remainder of the in the order. So, you multiply by the number, finally, you get this division method. So the remainder is 16 in Sutta. Eh? And the quotient, the divisor is 20 times the quotient. In the, in this particular, read this. What you read is the divisor is 5 times the remainder. 5 times the remainder, no? 16 is the remainder into 5 is 80. 
the divisor. Okay. 20 times the quotient. 20 times the quotient. Now, quotient into 20 gives you this. So, quotient should be what? 80 into 20. What into 20 gives you 80? 4 into 20 gives you 80. 4 into 20 is 80. The divisor is going to be here. Then, what is the number of the So, we know 4 into 20 are multiplied by the It gives you a number of so, number in our code, 320 plus 16, which is 336. Yes, that's the answer. Yes. Okay, next question. The LCM of two numbers is 48870. If one of the numbers is 480, then the other number is. It should be obvious. Correct? The outcome of two numbers is 140. If their ratios are 2 is to 5, then the numbers are. So, the outcome of two numbers are 140. Okay. The ratios are 2 is to 5, then the numbers are. So, ratios are 2 is to 5. So, it's nothing but 7 parts is 140. For one part is nothing but so this will be two parts which is 40, this is 5 parts which is 100, okay? Then the numbers are, I think, question, the answer of two numbers is 140, the ratio is 2 is to 5, I'm sorry. Sorry, the answer of two numbers is 140, and the ratios are 2 is to 5, which means, see, the ratio into HCF gives a number, HCF, for example, LCM total, 15 foot vertical LCM in the we know it is going to be what? 16, 15, 20, LCM is 16. It's going to be LCF is 5. 5 is the LCF. Okay? 5 is the LCF. So 5 into 3 is this number. 5 into 4 is this number. Second number. Okay, well, 5 into 3 is the first number. 5 into 4 is the second number. So 5 is the LCF. 3 into 4 is the LCF. Correct. So if there is, and the 3 and 4 is nothing but the ratio. What ratio there? 15 and 20, what ratio there? 3 is to 4. Clear? 3 is to 4 ratio. Like that. Are you able to understand what I'm telling you? So if that is the case, what is happening here is 15 and 20, there are the ratio 3 is to 4. Why is 3 is to 4? 3 into 5, which is your HCF. 4 into 5, which is 20, which is your HCF. Are you multiplied? Okay. So that is the case. This question says 2 is to 5 is the ratio. So 2 is to 5, and we don't know the HCF. So, 2 into 5 into HCF is what is missing is equal to 140. So, X is nothing but what? 140 by 10, which is 14. So, uh, your HCF is 14. Apo, then the numbers are numbers are 2 into 14, then 5 into 14, which is 28 and 70. That's it. 28 and 70. Got it? Clear? Next question. Clear? Yes, shall we go on to the next question? Yes, a couple more questions. We'll finish this, okay? A couple more questions. So, next question is if the number is exactly divisible by 85, then what would be the remainder when the same number is divisible? Divided by 70. So, what is the matter? The number is exactly divisible by 85, then what will be the remainder and the number is divisible by 70? Because other than 0 or 17 equals 0 now, because 85 is divisible by what? 70. 85 is divisible by 70. So the remainder is going to be 0. Clear? Next question. The least perfect square, which is exactly divisible by 3, 4, 7, 10, and 12 is the least of x square number, which is divisible by 3, 4, 7, 10, and 12 is. So we know it's a 10, so we it should be ending with a 0. Okay? And we know it should be divisible by 3, 4, 7, 12. Is your question? Okay? So it should be divisible by 3, 4, 7, and 12. So 7 is a divisible number. I don't think 8,100 is a possibility. I don't think 176 is also a possibility. Okay? So the answer is 441. Yes, this is divisible. So, in either you know, what is the least perfect square which is divisible by 347? 
10 and 12. Okay. So 3, 4, 7, 10 and 12 and so on. 10 is nothing but 2 to 5 into 2. So 1, 5 into 2 that is so obvious. Huh? So it's not 4, 4, 1, double zero. In a double zero, what are the kind of chances in the zero? You can't take double zero at all because you have 1, 5, and 2. So your answer should be none of these. And by my prediction, what I see is there's no chance for another zero at all. So we have a lot of double digit numbers, but I don't find more than one fives here. Five into two, all So this is nothing but what you find that. 5 square, like 25 or this, you can say it is 2 zero straight up. This is one of the five that so it's no possibility. So if you have LCM, your answer will be just check 3, 4, 7, 10, 12, like the perfect square number. Okay, so exactly this answer will be the perfect square number. Ah, okay, 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 it's a square number, I'm sorry, yes, I'm sorry. I'm asking for the square number, this is possible, I'm sorry. This is a square number. I, I think it's possible. So three, four, seven, ten. La pata. I think seven is divisible. Four, four, one. Four, four, one, double zero. So you're asking for square number. Okay. So since they're asking for a square number, I think this is possible. If this is not a square number, what is the three digit number or four digit number? Square number. Multiply. Multiply. Okay. Because 210 is 410, which is 441. Again, I don't think 40. So, okay, we'll see. LC mentioned 247, 10, and 12. So, we'll forget. So, what do I get here? Common values to. So, probably 4 itself. So, I'll get 3 into 7 into. So, 2 here, because 2 is here. 3 into 7 into 2 into 5 into 6. Again, do I have a 2? Yeah, 2 into 2. I'll get 3 into 7 into 1 into 5 into 3. So, so answer is 3 into 7, 21. 21 into 5 is 105. 105 into 3 is 415. 415 into 4. 415 into 4 is, I think, 1660. 1660. So 1660, it should be a perfect square number. It will work out only if 41410 is divisible by 1600. I don't think it's divisible by 1600. 00, 16 is not divisible by this. I don't think this is an answer. I don't find a possibility for this to be an answer. Twenty one twenty one into five is one zero five one one zero. Okay, three one five three one five into four is thousand two sixteen. Thousand two sixteen for that thousand two sixteen is this possible? Four four one double zero. Is this possible? Down thousand two sixteen. Three times gives you three thousand. So what I'm trying to find here is, yeh the guy na kine doubt on this na. If I take this number, it is divisible by 12. Okay, well. So in this square number should also be divisible by 12. I don't think this number is divisible by 12. Yes, it is divisible by 12, I guess. 3 times 36 gives you 71. 7 times 7 times 12 is divisible by 4 times. 5 times 60. 60. Eight. So it's a little seven six six ninety six ninety six seven zero eight. So it's seven zero eight seven zero eight and again get twenty. So twenty I don't think it's divisible by twelve. Four four one double zero. Yeah. So three times thirty six seventy one. I get 81, 8, 10, 8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10
90 is divisible seven times in this way. If you are it is this. Okay. So your answer is the answer is four seven. Your answer is four four one double zero. Four four one double zero because it's divisible by all these numbers. Okay. That's fine. So your answer is four four one double zero. Sorry, I was a bit confused with the other because looking at four four one, I thought it's twenty one square. It's four one. Twenty one is no way related to twelve. That's why I was just having a concern. So your answer is four four one double zero. Okay for this question. Okay. So for now you guys can wait, and I can see you guys again uh, by six forty five. Okay, six forty five. I'll my next session. I'll see you guys by then. Okay. Well then, thank you so much for your time and patience. Now you guys can leave. Thank you, B. Thank you, people. Keep preparing. Please keep preparing. Please keep preparing. Nothing more. Okay. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, that's nothing in my head. Uh, I'm just giving a schedule. Someone is asking. I am told that I'll have to do a training. So please don't mind, okay? So I'm sorry. I, I don't know that you have a walk in the evening, okay? 8.30 to 10. I'm sorry. Very sorry, okay? Please don't mind. Okay.